Hi, my name is Rick, and this is a video about how I approach playing the guitar. This is not meant as a lesson or a tutorial or something like that. This is just me explaining how I play guitar. Um, the main focus of these videos will be how to play with other people. So when other people are playing a song in, for instance, E major, then it's uh, useful to know how you can play along and what to play. And um, this is the way that I uh, approach something like that. There, uh, there are a couple of ways to play one particular chord on the guitar. Um, a couple of ways? Yeah, a couple of ways. Okay, so um, what I'm talking about is chord shapes. Uh, now we all know a couple of basic chords, for instance the A chord and the E chord. And lastly the D chord. Now these chords can be moved up the guitar neck and when you move them up they will give you different chords. So uh, for instance if I start with the E chord I can move it up one step, fret all the strings behind the chord as if the nut is moved as well. And this will give me the F chord. If I move it up two more frets then this is the G major. And if I move it up again, I will get to the A major chord. So this is an A major chord in an E shape. And move up the shape so as to get the A chord in an E shape. So uh, these chords for me are all related to the root note. So the root note is the lowest note for me in the chords, usually. Um, so an A chord would start with the open A string or the fifth uh, fret um, on the uh, E string or an octave up right there on the D string. And an easy way to remember the octave is uh, it's two strings up, two frets up excuse me, two frets up and two strings down opposed from the uh, um, starting from the E string so um, for instance if I have a, a, an F sharp I just move two frets up and two strings and so here is the F sharp on the D string so I know that the F sharp chord in the E shape is like this, and I know that the F sharp chord in the D shape is like that. Now it's very useful if you can do this for uh, most or any of the major chords. So for instance if someone is telling you well we're playing this song in B major then you'll know there's the B in the A shape, there's the B in the E shape, and there's the B in the D shape. Um, this is useful because sometimes uh, one of the guitarists is playing uh, the A-shaped version of the B chord, then it would be useful for you, for example, to play the, the D-shaped version, so as not to get in each other's way. Um, it's also something that gives a different tonal quality. When you play a chord uh, an octave up from where someone else is playing the chord, it makes for a wider sound. So there's one Joss Stone song that I recommend using for practicing these different chord shapes. This is the song uh, Free Me and uh, it's only a two chord song so it's very simple and it will help you identify and easily change between these different chord shapes. So it's uh, an A and a D. first three strings is very handy. It will, uh, it will open up um, uh, 
for you how to play these these higher chords and these different shapes of these uh, chords. Um, and we've covered the octave, how to find that one. So um, for now, this is uh, I guess this is enough. Uh, in the next video, I will explain uh, how these chord shapes help me find a safe place where I can play riffs and single note lines, double stops, stuff like that. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was informative for you. Uh, if you have any questions or remarks, please put them in the comments. And um, I hope to see you uh, in the next video. In the meantime, keep on playing.